Okay, well, this is me, Jordan, telling you it gets better, coming from personal experiences. I mean, I've been called a dyke, I've been called so many rude words, and I have lost friendships because I'm bisexual, and honestly, I'm fine. I'm better off without those friendships. And I honestly couldn't be happier right now. I'm out to, like, everyone. Um, my family accepts me. My friends accept me. My teachers accept me. Everyone accepts me. My sisters, everyone. And so... I would like to tell you that it does get better, and it, I mean, you really just, you don't have to worry about all of the bullies and everyone saying you aren't worth living because you are gay, okay? Because that's a straight up lie. Um, I mean, when I was realizing that I was a part of the LGBTQ community, I hated myself, honestly. I was scared no one would love me anymore. I had nightmares of my dad disowning me and just absolutely hating me. And so, like, that absolutely scared me. And so it made me not want to be who I am. And then I realized this is me. I should accept it for myself. And so I started accepting it. And I realized maybe other people will accept it. And so I told my well, my friend Christy, she's also bi, but she's older, she's in high school. And so, like, I mean, she's always been there for me, and so she was the first person to know. She might have even known before I knew, um, but then I told my sister one night, I broke out into tears, and I told her, and she said, you need to tell mom or dad, and I was absolutely terrified to tell my dad, even though he is very accepting of all that stuff, you know, and I mean, we're Jewish, uh, we're not conservative or anything, I mean, we're just Americans, and so, and I, the next morning I told my mom, and again, I broke out into tears, and she asked if I wanted to see a therapist or something, trying to help me, and so, I mean, that was the last we ever talked about it. And then earlier this year, my dad was driving me to school, and it was right after my grandma had passed away, and so I said, Dad, this may be a bad time, but I'm bisexual, and he said, I think you're too young to think about that, but that doesn't change anything. I love you no matter what, that isn't anything that I won't love you over, and that just meant a lot. And so, I mean, he basically told me, don't come out because people are mean, especially at my age, and I'm 12, and I'm in 7th grade in middle school, so, or junior high, so, I mean, people are mean, uh, but I did come out to friends, and then last, last week, maybe the week before, I was running in gym class, and these people yelled dyke at me, and so I ignored it, I told my friend, or my friend was running with me, so she heard it as well, and she went and we told the, um, our teacher together, and so she was so accepting of it. And she said, no, that's unacceptable, you can go write an incident report. And she was so cool about it, and 
she'll check up on me, and then my assistant principal will check up on me, other teachers will check up on me, and so I won this battle. I didn't let it get to me. I didn't let them outing me scare me. I stood my ground, and I came out because of them. And so, that's what I want. I want you to know, is that if anybody outs you, just say, Okay, now you know. If you can't accept me, screw you. Alright, because, I mean, really, if they're not gonna, if someone's not gonna accept you, why would you want to be their friend? Like, that makes no sense to me. And I know there are people who are trying to just fit in and to just blend in and not be outed. And honestly, I, I mean, stay, stay where you are, stay in your comfortable place, but one day, please do come out because the LGBTQ community needs you. And there are people going through the same thing. There are people who can relate to you. I'm 12 years old and I can relate to a 16 year old, um, 24 year old. And so just know that there are people like you and know that there are people willing to just say I love you, whether it be a stranger, whether it be your mom, your dad, your sister, your friend, anyone. Me, I'm willing to say I love you. I love you, okay? Whoever is watching this, I love you. Just for watching this. And so, just please don't hurt yourself. 30% of suicides are gay youth. And that scares me because I'm a part of the gay youth. And if I can take the gay bashing, I hope you can too, because I want there to be other 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds that I can relate to. And so I just wanted to do this video because I think this project is absolutely amazing. And the fact that it's getting so big and that the on Facebook there's a day against homophobia and people should join it. <laughs> It starts to in two minutes, according to Georgia time, and so just stay who you are. Don't be scared to be honest, because the truth will set you free. So just, it gets better. I love you, and thank you for watching this. Um, just... Stay strong and be happy because life will get better. Life is a roller coaster, and if you down right now, you'll get back up, I promise. Just trust me on this. It gets better.